Welcome to the fifth and final episode in the series for the Pearl Code Street Along. In this last episode, we are going to pick up some stitches for the sleeves. Now that we are done with the body, we're going to finish up with the sleeves. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate how to pick up some stitches to close the gap underneath the underarm. So you can see here, I've picked up all of the sleeve stitches that I had on waist yarn earlier. They're just kind of hanging out here. I'm using uh, some magic loop. And I did remember to put my larger needle size on. Uh, I had a smaller uh, needle size for the ribbing. So we're going to find the very middle of the underarm, which is right here. And you can tell because there's this really cool seam that's right underneath it. And so I need to pick up and knit stitches starting at the uh, center right here. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to pick up this way. So I need to pick up eight stitches under here. So what I like to do is I'm going to take this needle here and I'm going to go under two strands. Okay, so you never want to go under one strand. If you pull it, it will pull the other one tight and you can see how this is making a really big hole right there. So we want to make sure and go under two strands just like that. And I'm going to introduce my yarn here. I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to loop it over my needle. And then I'm going to use my fingers to kind of help pull that through just like that. So I've picked up one stitch just like that. Now I'm going to just kind of tuck the tail into the armpit so I don't use that one anymore. And then I'm going to go to the next one over and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm, it's almost like I'm knitting just with one needle. It's kind of cool. So there's two and then three and you're just gonna keep going in this manner, making sure you get under two strands of the yarn until you have the amount of stitches needed to close up that hole in the underarm. Just like this. All right, once you get the amount of stitches, you've picked up the right amount, now it's time to knit. So this needle is just kind of sitting over here waiting for us. So now that we've picked up, we're just going to simply knit across these. So we're going to knit around the entire arm until we get to the last bit where we have to pick up some more stitches. So I'm just going to speed ahead here. All right, I'm getting to the end of my sleeve stitches that I picked up from waist yarn right here. All right, so that's the last of my stitches. So you can see here's my sleeve. You can see he over here are the stitches that I picked up. Here's my sleeve stitches. And then I have to pick up again going across this gap because I started here. Here's my tail from where I started picking up. So I have, to put, I have to pick up another X amount of stitches right in there depending on your size. So again, we're just going to start down here, go under two strands and using only the right needle we're just going to go along and pick up all of our stitches until we have the right number to close the gap. And that's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place a marker right here designating the end of round and then we can start to work the sleeve in the round just like we did the body. Now, don't forget that even though we're on the sleeves, we still have coding to do. So you're gonna code exactly like you did on the body. Your round is just gonna be quite a bit shorter.
Now, in the pattern, you will notice that there are decrease rounds. So while you're coding, please keep track of how many rounds you're doing so that you can make sure and place the decreases where you need to place them. You're going to switch to a smaller needle once you get to the cuff, and you're going to do your ribbing and the bind off, all of which you already know how to do. Uh, the last thing is the neck finishing. We just demonstrated how to pick up stitches, so if you would like to do the uh, finish work on the neck, there are several options in the pattern. You can go ahead and pick up the stitches in order to do that. I decided I'm going to go ahead and leave mine uh, raw and unfinished just uh, with the long tail cast on that we did in the very beginning because I really like the way that looks. So, you are armed and dangerous to finish up this project, and uh, I cannot wait to see all of your finished um, uh, pearl code sweaters. I'm very excited to finish mine as well. So, thank you for joining us for this street along, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!